Okay, here you go, John. Your special request. Already? <sighs> and yes, it is down by the duck pond, which is really trying like a bugger to recover. <clears throat> this little bit of fall rain has, trickle of fall rain, misting of fall rain has helped. And I'll even make this the final YouTube um, Virgin Solar upload. So there we go guys. She's peppered with them. Uh, yeah, we do got some small M's coming in. And probably uh, <clears throat> probably about the crack of dawn Monday morning UTC time. And see how we're at the duck pond. Let's see. We can't have some ducks. Keep in mind I don't have a glasses with me. So I'm just kind of like aiming in the dark. All right. Well, sorry about that. And I'll just remind everybody: uh, next major <clears throat> solar weather caution would be November the 11th. Starting on November the 8th, actually. Yeah, from our west to east direction. Great Carrington EMP solar weather event potential in that one. Reason being, of course, uh, that is the date that uh, 200 meter across uh, metallic YU 55, which has a high concentration of Cobalt in the outer. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to say it has <clears throat> plenty of unknown characteristics. We'll just scratch that word cobalt. Um, yeah. So it's coming in within. It's been intermingling with Ellenin's Comet Trail. Uh, all week, and it's uh, it's coming into uh, about 0.836 at last calculation guesstimates lunar orbits. Again, from west to east. That inclusion, just just say that the potential's there, depending on um, stellar weather, sunspot activity, filaments. From November the 8th to November the 11th. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go for one quick last YouTube flash. Gonna miss you there, YouTube um, AIs. I already do. I really enjoyed providing you with real common data uploads. Not that fake scripted Hollywood shit or the shit that the nerds are talented and resourceful enough to make. Old school multimedia creativity. Back before the days of overdependence on crop tech. Hey, um, uh, oh, getting no glasses. So uh, let's just say Tudelewskis, um, YouTube AIs, and some of you YouTube employees and contractors, and I use the term some very sparingly. <sighs> we'll uh, give you all a dingle if it becomes possible on the, <clears throat> the new common communication cooperative array.
which as has been stated is based on a uh, phased graduation to a much 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 sturdier technology much more resilient to space weather EMP and um, man-made competitive tendencies so there you go so there's a bonus for everyone that said I'll come on one more at the duck pond uh, I do appreciate you guys support I know I haven't really harped a lot on getting into the details I haven't found the way yet as to why uh, YouTube is uh, a dead issue sort of uh, I don't know some as though there were a rich foundation that could build it out that wasn't corrupt or corruptible uh, YouTube hasn't got a hope and um, I have no more resource to invest and in. neither do a lot of the beings I work with to um, keep it alive past this last um, criminal false flag wag the dog tail kiss the lizard's lips uh, maneuver that that Barry Sotero has come at us us all of us globally right? internet too well <clears throat> if we lost the Tower of Babel again it's because the builders weren't worth a shit, or they were building for different reasons. Mutually assured destruction, to be exact, in this case. Okay, and later on, additions of plagiarism, or... There's that word! Blan! Ah!